Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sudesh, and I'm an instructor for this MH700 Managing Microsoft Teams examination course. In this demo walkthrough, we're going to learn how to create and manage Teams. By default, all users can create Teams using the Teams client and invite members unless you restrict the creation of Teams to global administrators or team service administrators. Administrators can also create Teams in the Teams Admin Center or PowerShell. There are multiple ways you can create Teams, either by going to Teams Admin Center, Teams Client, or PowerShell or Graph API. So let me take you to the Teams Admin Center and show you how to create Teams there. So I am on my Microsoft Teams Admin Center. Under Teams, you can click on Manage Teams. This is where you would be able to see all the Teams within your Teams environment. To create a new Teams, click on Add. Give a name to the team. Description. You can set a Teams order. Define what type of team it is. Is it a public or private team? And you can select a classification if you have set a classification already. And then hit apply. That will simply go ahead and create a Teams. Now let me go and show you how to create a Teams on the Teams client app. So now I'm on my Teams client app. As you can see that the sample team I just created is already turned up here. To create a new Teams, click on Join or Create a Team. Click on Create Team. Two options, build a team from scratch or create from an Office 365 group. So we're going to build a team from scratch. We have three options here, a private, public, and org-wide. The org-wide group, when you create it, everyone within your organization will be automatically joined. So let's click create that. And I'm going to leave the name like that. And hit on create. So now this is creating an org wide team. If I go and look within the team, you can see that there are 18 members already part of this group. That's because this is an org-wide team. So please note that whenever you create a team, it is best practice to configure at least two owners for self-service needs for the team. If a group owner leaves your company, the group could be fined itself without an owner. The content in the group is unaffected by this, but not having a group owner means that there is nobody with permission to manage the group. Anytime the single owner is not available and modifications of the teams are not required, the members will have to contact the team's administrator. This problem can be resolved by any administrator within your organization. Teams templates are pre-built definition of a team structure designed around a business need or project. You can use teams template to quickly create rich collaboration spaces with channels for different topics and pre-install apps to pull a mission critical content and services. Teams templates provide a predefined team structure that can help you easily create consistent team across your organization. Some of the capabilities of Teams templates are you, you would be able to define a team name, description, visibility, auto favorite channel, installed app, pin tabs, team membership, etc. There are two ways to create teams from the template. Use an existing team as a template or create a team from base template. And then there are several options to create a team from an existing resource. You can upgrade a SharePoint team site or a Microsoft 365 group to a team directly. You also can convert a distribution list 
to a Microsoft 365 group. Then you can convert it to a team with this intermediate step. This also works if a group was created as part of a plan in Planner. Remember, when creating a team, the underlying group cannot have more than 5,000 members. And we have seen an example just before on how to create an org-wide team. An org-wide team provides an automatic way for everyone in a small or medium-sized environment to be part of a single team for collaborations or announcement. As an admin, you may need to view or update the teams that your organization set up for collaboration, or you might need to perform remediation actions such as assigning orders or orderless teams. You can manage the teams used in your organization using either the Microsoft Teams Admin Center or Microsoft Teams PowerShell module as well. These channels are dedicated sections within the team to keep conversations organized by specific topic, projects, disciplines, etc. Each channel could be different unit in a department or a project group in a larger group within a different group. Before you create channel, you first need to decide which channel you need and if they shall be standard or private. You can create a channel by going into a team and click on add a channel. Give a name for your channel and within the privacy, you have two options, standard and private. At some point when managing teams, it will become necessary to retain or delete teams that are no longer actively used. You can archive or delete teams. Both options stop users from modifying teams content and using that team for further collaboration. Policy packages in Microsoft Teams let you control teams features that you want to allow or restrict for a specific set of people across your organization. These policy packages simply streamline and help provide consistency when managing policies for group of users across your organization. View the settings of each policy in a policy package before you assign a package. Make sure that you understand each settings and then decide whether the predefined values are appropriate for your organization or whether you need to change them to be more restrictive or lenient based on your organization's need. The next lesson, we're going to learn about managing membership in Teams. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.